Hey guys, please make sure you stand till the end. People make one common mistake that will destroy the engine. You will end up rebuilding or replacing it, which can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Super helpful video 20 we having a BMW guys. It could be multiple BMW models, almost anything from year 2005 up to year 2018. If you want to see how to activate the electric coolant pump, water pump, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that in case you need to test it guys. Okay, you will see if it's starting. Also, you will need to know that procedure, how to activate the coolant pump every time guys, uh, you replace actually uh, thermostat, you drain the coolant, you, re you replace uh, uh, gaskets on the oil cooler, anything that will involve draining the coolant. You cannot just put antifreeze coolant and start driving the car. You have to bleed the cooling system. If you don't bleed the cooling system, you may end up actually, guys, uh, um, overheating the engine, destroying the cylinder head, head gasket, engine block, and that may cost you thousands of dollars in repairs to fix, guys. That's why it's important to know how to do that. And if you need to buy any replacement parts, tools, coolant, or proof BMW coolant, we'll share the information in the description of the video below. So let's start on it now. So before we start, let us guys tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We show you guys how to fix multiple things. We fix engines, we fix guys uh, transmissions, we fix bodywork. We uh, show you how to fix engine codes, fuses, relays. We take them completely apart. We make at least 200 videos on every car. Why we do that? Because our mission here at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can by providing that information. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Check out our YouTube channels. We guys have more than 17,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you need to buy parts, tools, to fix your cars, we're going to share the information in the description of the video below. Let's start on it now. On most BMWs, guys, let us show you where the coolant pump is located, the water pump. Actually, it's on the passenger side, under the exhaust, on the engine in that corner here. That's where the thermostat, the pump will be located. You will hear that noise coming from there. It will be very noticeable once you activate it, guys. And how we do that? You enter your vehicle. I want to show you now step by step. When you test it, activate it, that's kind of like the bleeding procedure. So the pump will turn on and off multiple times. Now, it's important that, okay, uh, it turns on. Here, what do we need to do, guys? Let's explain. Don't press the brake pedal. Press the ignition switch. See, okay, the uh, accessory lights on. Here, okay, that heater needs to be set on both sides to the maximum temperature allowed. And the fan needs to be to the lowest setting, only on one bar. Now, turn the car off. When you turn it off, okay, the next step, turn it on again without pressing the brake pedal. When the lights are on, what you need to do at that point, guys, okay, you're going to press the gas pedal for about 10 seconds. If it's super quiet, you're going to hear that pump activating. Listen now. Okay, it's about time. Okay, I can hear it, guys. Let us show you what it sounds like now. Okay, that pump, okay, it's going. I want to get the microphone there so you can hear it. It will turn on for like a few seconds, then it's slowing down. Then it will go on high speed again. You'll hear relays clicking as well. Listen now. It's going on high speed. You can see, you can actually even feel the coolant flowing through the hoses. Okay, when you touch them, you can hear even some air because we're bleeding the cooling system now, guys. But that's how we start the procedure. That whole procedure to bleed the cooling system is like anywhere between 8, 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the model. But you can see, guys, okay, uh, that's, that's how you guys do it. That's how you activate, that's how you test the, the water coolant pump on most BMWs. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.